side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boston College's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires it out. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. They get five yards on the play. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Pick up of about seven that time on the screen play. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Tries to get around the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 33. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Slings it out and it gets tipped. You know, for you young cornerbacks and young defensive backs, this is a great example of just being smart and efficient as a defender. Instead of taking a chance and going for that interception, he was smart. He got in position, knocked the football away, and didn't give the receiver a chance to make a play on the football. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 46. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Under heavy pressure. He's at the 30. Got it to the senior. Touchdown, Sooners. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 67-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
And they can forget about returning this one. Oklahoma's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Run left, and he's taken down to the backfield. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 31. to that quicker. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slam. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. It's second and 11. Ball on the 48-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 44. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Pass complete and taken down immediately. A gain of six. I've got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. on the counter. Nice run there. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now, you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Taken down at about the 21. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. This is the 10th play of this drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. They'll line it up again on third down. Swings it out left to the halfback. Knocked out of bounds at the 12. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. and ready for the kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Tackle made at the 30. Hey. 
six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. So at the end of one, Oklahoma leads 7-3. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Oklahoma is up four. He fights forward to about the 49. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. I feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play. So when I see a young player like this make a play like that, phew, it's impressive. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number 18 was the intended receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. He's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Oklahoma is up by four. And he's stopped behind the line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 20-yard line. Knocked out immediately after the catch. do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. 
from their own 34-yard line. Second down. Got hit and still completed it. They'll knock him down for a loss. Blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Oklahoma is up a score. Oklahoma's going to take their first time out of the half. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's hit and taken down. receiver and he's got another one down in the open field he scrambled and down he goes right around the 40 he might have gained a yard on that scramble the 35. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Completes the pass, but a great stop by the defense. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball in 34. He's in trouble. He zips it. Makes the catch, and he might take it at the 30. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 14. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Get 
gets to about the 14-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Back old after a decent pickup. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. The Eagles are going to call their second timeout. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 10-6, Oklahoma. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. Going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Number 22, deep to Fielded at the nine. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. Throws and it's incomplete. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. He gets rid of this one. Going deep. And he's immediately tackled. to the 25. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down.
It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 13-6, Oklahoma. And they can forget about returning this one. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets. And I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And they got it. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. He goes downtown. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Slings it, and he's shoved out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a play. And they get nice yardage on that run. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 20. Number 20. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it second and ten. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up. And he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the 10. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Boston College is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Oklahoma is up four. Got a 
receiver, and he dropped it. Second and ten. Ball on the 28. Slings it out there incomplete. there before he stepped out of bounds. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the 39-yard line. yard line. It's second down. Quick strike and he drops it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Oklahoma is up by four. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Moves up, and the defense has got it. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice run there. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Quick throw. Tackle made around the 43 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Here's the give. And they got him for a loss. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. So at the end of the third quarter, the Sooners lead 13-9. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Passes it to the middle of the field. It's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. So 
early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. Makes the first down catch. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. pressure quick pass knocked out of bounds around the 13 yard line on the extra point with a three-play 60-yard drive and it results in a touchdown so the score now 20 to 9 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff caught at the eight tackle made at the 29 I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today this is where you always hear that saying, the big-time players make big plays in big games. This is where somebody on this offense needs to step up and be that big-time player. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at the 48-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike Forty, Mike Forty, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Ready. 59 Billy. 59 Billy. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Fires quick, tipped. Excellent pass defense. Got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. From the 30 yard line, third down. to that quickly. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled at the 24. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's the ninth play of the drive. Positive yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and three. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he 
carries the ball for a nice game. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Scrambling around, and he is drilled at the nine. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And once again, the coach has decided to go for it on fourth down. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks and the quarterback put the ball right on And down he goes around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Just over a minute left. it out to about the 49. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. The Eagles are going to call their second timeout. Nice run up the middle. Boston College will take their last timeout. Second down and five. Ball on the 46-yard line. Makes it out to about the 36. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Final score, 20 to 9, Sooner. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.